Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I've got an exciting blend for you. Well, I keep calling them blends, not blends. I've got an exciting flavor uh, for you guys today. And it's something that I don't do very often, but when I do, it is just excellent. Today's, uh, today's blend... Ah, I got it! <laughs> today's tea is going to be uh, Keeman Rhapsody. And I don't do Keeman very often because I don't really have Keeman very often. Um, but what I do, oh my god, I just love it to death. So Keeman is from the Anhui uh, province of China. And it's considered a black tea, but it's not your regular run-of-the-mill black tea. And I'll show you why in just a second. Uh, but generally, it tends to be very uh, light-tasting but toasty. Um, it had this scent of like toasted caramel oh man it, it, it's just incredible so without further ado i'm going to show you guys the actual tea what it looks like let me pull off one strand because that's the only way that i can really describe it if you take a look it's all all you see is it looks like it's straight. It's very, very thin. Kind of looks like insect legs. Only, <laughs> like it's really, really hard to see on that on that camera. But yeah, it kind of looks like an insect leg. You know, it's very thin, very stringy. Hey, Martin, welcome. It's very stringy uh, and very like very stick like. You know. Um, and that's where preparation comes key because uh, because it's very delicate, it can't take a lot of pressure. So what I did was I did it. Uh, I, I set the temperature at about 200 degrees rather than 212, uh, and I set it to steep for three minutes rather than five. I wanted to give it a nice um, smooth flavor because it's very easily uh, it's very easily oversteeped. Now, if I take a whiff of this, mm, it's very earthy with a kind of malt uh, flavoring to it. A very a malted kind of scent, um, and it's got it's it's got like sweet toastiness to it. And I really love uh, Keeman so much. Like, I'm going to confess the only reason why I'm doing Keeman today is because this particular blend I've never done before and I want to drink it all next week. <laughs> so, that's my confession for, for the day. Uh, but if we look at the liqueur, and look at how beautiful that is. It's a nice copper color. Um, in the center, you don't really see a whole lot of uh, darkness. You notice how sometimes teas start off red and then there's this gigantic uh, black pit in the middle you don't really get that here it's kind of like if i move my head because if i'm in front of it you don't see it very much but it's almost see-through look at that you can see my hands all the way through it's just absolutely gorgeous it's clear um and because the the uh, leaves are so thin there's a little bit of sediment but not a lot because there's not a lot of surface area that can hold it so uh hey ma welcome so when you look at the bottom of the cup it's a little bit dusty but there's not uh there's not a whole lot of sediment settling in at the bottom mm. there's that toasted caramel kind of uh scent to it i love it so much okay here we go i'm gonna take my first sip Mmm. Okay. It kind of has like that grounded, that grounded flavor to it. Um, it's got like that malty, uh, that malty flavor. There's a very slight texture. It's not heavy. It's barely, it's very, it's barely feelable. Feelable. I don't, I don't know if that's a word. It could be. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are, are commenting. Are you guys commenting? Because I'm not seeing anything. Yes, we, are. we are? Okay, yeah. Oh, I hate... I, I don't know what is going on with this, but I again, I can't... I can't see. 
This is this is dumb. Let me see if I can like open up and watch myself on Facebook so I can at least catch the comments. Cause this is just ridiculous. I seriously don't like the way this is working out. But anyway, so I'm going to keep on talking about it. Um, there's this really nice flavor and aroma to it. It's very sweet. Um, very... It's kind of like, what's that, what's that, uh, that flavor? Um, it's kind of like, like a caramel dark chocolate, uh, flavor to it. Hold on, I'm still looking for my, there it is, no, that was, why am I not live on my own group? Alright, this is, this is getting kind of ridiculous. Oh, there I am. Okay. Alright, I'm watching. <laughs> And Martin, yeah, it's like pubes. Sorry, I'm a little bit late to that one. Uh, but I can see myself. There we go. Okay, yeah, I, I should just start doing this more often. Because, like, relying on the camera, uh, on the phone is just not working. Um, anyway, back, back to the reason we're here. Uh, not about my technical problems. Hmm. There's a nice little warmth uh, in the back of my throat that's kind of reminiscent of like malta, which is like a, a, a Puerto Rican drink. Uh, it's kind of like a malted soda. You get that kind of sensation at the bottom of your throat. Um, and it's very hearty. You know, it's, 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 it's a big statement. When you drink it, uh, it's light uh, and kind of refreshing, but it's easy. It's there. Mm. Uh, is this a black tea? Yes, it's considered a black tea. It's just a very delicate black tea. Um, it's not a Chinese... Uh, well... Okay, I take that back because, um, you know, Chinese, China doesn't make a whole lot of black teas. They're known more for uh, green teas. But it's not like your regular run-of-the-mill um, black tea. Uh, did I just lose the internet? Are you kidding me right now? Am I, am I frozen, maybe? I'm still going? Okay, because my computer just kind of froze for a second. What is going on? Today's just not my day. <laughs> like, I don't know. Anyway. Huh? You're good. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that, everyone. This is just... Ugh. See, the, the one time I'm completely prepared for my stream and then this stuff happens. Anyway. Mmm. <sighs> That's the one thing about live TV, you can never predict it. Uh, so like I was saying, um, it's, n it's more along the lines of like a light Darjeeling. Uh, if we're going to compare it, uh, it's, it's more along the lines of Darjeeling. And there's little hints of like lychee and, and, and peach. Um, kind of like a, a sweet tart flavoring to it. And it's really, really nice. It's, uh, it's well... Hey, Teresa, welcome. Uh, you're good, thank God it's Friday. Oh, yeah. Friday is always a... <laughs> Friday is always a blessing. Um, but yeah, so... What was... I, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> There's too many, too many things going on. Um, anyway, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a light black tea. Uh, very delicate, um, very, it's very unique in the fact that usually black teas are built for punishment. Uh, that means that they can take the full 212 degrees, they can take the full five minute steeps, and that's what they're made for. This is very much a, it's, it's very much like a delicate flower, you know? It, it won't break down, um, it, no, it will break down kind of, kind of easily. 
And if you take a closer look, it's really, really difficult to see on the camera. You might be able to make out that it's still kind of green. Um, there's like little tones of, of green in there. So you see it's not really, really strongly oxidized. Um, but it's good enough to be considered a black tea. It's just on the lower end of the spectrum. But things being what they are, it's great to like drink this kind of tea and like really enjoy it because the problem you'll, you'll get along, with, it's something that I did many times, is that if you associate this with a regular black tea, um, you'll be punished for it. It oversteeps really easily. Um, it gets bitter, it gets like so astringent. It's, it's bad. I've done it and I've had to train myself. Uh, to do it correctly, because it's 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 something that you have to be mindful, and I mean that goes for all teas. Uh, of course, you know some can take more punishment than others. Uh, and what I do is, whenever I make a bad cup, I drink it just to teach myself a lesson. You know, <laughs> it's all about trying to hone in your mindfulness and your perspective. Uh, and you know that it's there because you're, you're physically uh, brewing it as it goes. So you have, to be aware for, or you, you have to be aware of it. There's a life lesson in there somewhere. I just don't know what it is. Mm. And I love how airy it is. Um, like the malt flavoring sits on your tongue. But there's a coolness that... that emanates from from the from the palate. Um, as I talk, it tastes like a light chili kind of um, chili isn't cool, not chili pepper. Uh, like a, a, a light chili temperature kind of um, cooling sensation as you drink from it. Uh, the caramel and the, the sweetness of it. Uh, show us a steep leaf. Oh yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm out of practice. You can see I haven't done this in a couple months. Um, but yeah, the steep leaf is kind of, sort of, different. I mean, it opens up very, very slightly. There's not a huge difference in the shape, though. So let's grab one and see if we can open it up. Uh, this one looks kind of plump. So let's see if I can... Spray it, we'll see what kind of leaf this is. Yeah, it's, it's very, very much wrapped. Like this, I can't, I can't really open it very easily. So the difference between the steeped and the unsteeped is just the width. And that's it, it doesn't open up very, very easily. Oh, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> this one. I thought it was plump so that I'd be able to play around with it a little bit. There's very little give. Very little. This is the best I can do under the circumstances. It's still twisted really, really well. But, yeah, that's good enough. Look at that. I was able to open it um, a good amount. This is not very, um, this is not a very wide, big leaf. Uh, but only because, like, the whole one, the whole leaf is in there. It's just twisted to the point of stringiness. Um, and that really brings out that caramelized flavor. The fact that it doesn't get too strong um, and it, it gets a little bit malty. It's really really nice. I very, I very much recommend this to people who are just starting out. Um, it is a higher end tea and it tends to be um, more expensive but if you're looking for a really nice black tea this will do it. Mm, it looks like a different grade of leaf. Um, one, I wouldn't call it a grade because grading 
is a a descriptive term for more than just the leaf, if that makes sense. Um, I mean, grading can be used, but not in that context per se. Um, I would more say it's a different cut of leaf um, or a different pluck. Actually, yeah, pluck would be more would be more specific. That is definitely not standard, which is the two leaves and a bud. Um, this is done one leaf at a time, and that's what gives it the um, the texture. Is the fact that it doesn't um, it doesn't have that fullness of the uh, of the uh, of the standard pluck. This is just one pluck to leaf at a time, and they tend to be more on the mature side. Um, they, it's going to be like not an old leaf, but a, I guess the best term would be kind of like a, a young adult leaf, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, because you still want it to have that youthful taste without the harsh, the harshness that the maturity of the leaf brings. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's another life lesson right there, I'm sure. Mmm. And I love the way it's, it's got like this, usually, like, usually, um, black teas tend to be slightly metallic. I'm getting very, very little. Like, it's even more slightly metallic than it usually is. Um, I'm getting more of, like, the the sweet kind of um, tartness that you would get from like a lychee fruit um, or a peach or something along those lines. They are, uh, it's very low key, very well put together. Beautiful scent, beautiful um, composition all, uh, all around. And you know, I, I would highly recommend this. This is, this is excellent. Uh, oh, Thomas Taste. Almost forgot the Thomas taste. Okay, ready? Uh, would I put milk in the tea? No. I mean, that's just my my thing. Because um, again, I, I would feel like that's 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 disrespectful to the tea. Uh, this one really doesn't need all that um, because it's so light and refreshing. Uh, anybody anybody else can. I mean, you could put milk in any tea, um, but this one I would not recommend because you'll be missing out on the full uh, on the full flavor. Mm. So right there, as I was breathing out, the flavor got a lot darker. Uh, it became more toasty, less caramel. Um, the malt flavoring was very, very strong. It's, I mean, it doesn't have malt flavoring, but the malt aspect of the flavor is more descriptive. Um, and I love the way that it's, it's really smooth going down. Um, and this is, because it is a black tea, it's going to be caffeinated. Uh, it's going to be probably on the higher end. Of uh, of caffeine, but not like it, it, it'll be mid to mid to high range, um, but not like super duper caffeinated. So right now I'm feeling nice and energized. I'm feeling more aware, because um, uh, like I, I can feel the difference. I, I'm not sure if it's just like as I go on, uh, I build up momentum, or if it's like the tea that actually helps. Um, I have a high tolerance for caffeine in general, so it's like really difficult for me to say how it affects me. Um, but in this case, like I feel good about it, you know. All right. mm. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna open the floor as I usually do. Uh, questions, comments, anything you want to talk uh, talk about? Now's the time. Uh, I'm going to answer Teresa's question first, like I always do. What would I pair? What food would I pair this with? Um, given its dark flavor, 
Uh, I would do a heavy meat, but not a steak. Steak might be too heavy for this. Um, maybe a roasted chicken. I could see a roasted chicken with this. Um, or a smoked salmon. Something with a little bit of, uh, of spice. Um, because it, it leaves... It, it, it leaves a nice space on the palate to taste everything else. Some black teas are like really bold and really strong. Um, this one is strong but light. Um, what is this? Uh, this, is, this isn't a blend. What other tea would I blend this with? I mean, it could go well with, uh, with all kinds of fruits. Um, you know, like I would put peach in here, uh, maybe apricot. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I mean, you could. You, it, it would probably go very well if you put uh, fruits in it. I mean, again, I wouldn't do that because I'd be disrespecting this uh, this tea. This is one of the higher end ones. Um, so, like, I would feel like, like a cheap tea blends well because you don't want to taste how cheap it is. <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's true. Um, for this one, I would leave it as it is. But if I were to do it, I would put fruits in it. Um, and not any of like the uber sweet... Uh, uber sweet... Uh, oh, 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 I guess I'm not getting enough caffeine. Oh. I wouldn't put an uber sweet something in here, like a an apple or maybe an apple would, would go well um i don't know if i'd put anything citrusy like super citrusy in there uh but yeah like like rock fruits you know like the, the peach or the apricot or the apple stuff like that. that that's what i would add to it if given a if given a chance um maybe even chocolate because i mean that caramel kind of uh flavoring that it has uh, the notes of caramel would really go well uh, with a little bit of chocolate in there. I'm trying to think what else. Because um, I don't know if it'll, I don't think it will go well if you put any flowers in it. Um, it might it might be strong enough to overpower any flowers. Uh, but yeah, I think that that works. Uh, sounds exciting. Oh yeah, it absolutely is. Um, it's got a nice breathable. Uh, breathable flavor to it. Mm. And now that it's now that it's cooling off, it's starting to taste a little bit sweeter. Um, I'm getting more of the caramel, more of the toasted uh, the toasted caramel. I'm getting more um, of a maltiness and less of an earthiness. A sugar in the tea? Uh, are you asking me if there's sugar in the tea, or are you asking me if you would, if I would recommend sugar in it? Um, the answer for both would be no, anyway, uh, only because the um, again, I, I'd feel like I'd be missing out on the fullness of the flavor. Uh, this is not a very strong tea, so you may benefit from sweetening it up, but it wouldn't take a whole lot. Um, would I recommend it? All depends on your on your palate. If you like to to drink uh, sweet things, this might make a very good iced tea. Um, but you know, like not my not my recommendation. Like if, if you would do an iced tea, I would use a cheaper tea. You know, like this this is meant to be savored. This is meant to be uh, purely enjoyed. Uh, this is meant to have that kind of calming, relaxing effect. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 a very soothing blend. I keep calling it blend. I have to break that habit. It's very soothing tea. Mm. Okay. Oh, anyway. Uh, again, I'm opening up the floor. Questions, comments, anything you want to talk about? Now's the time. Um, I'm going to go back into doing content for the community pretty soon. Uh, probably next week. The, the whole reason why I haven't was because I've been uh, unpacking the house. 
Uh, and I'm very, very, very close to being finished. So I might be spending a lot more time in my office now that everything is like settled down and, and, um, and good to go. So you'll be seeing more content uh, on the community page uh, pretty soon. Once I know for sure that I'm not needed anywhere else in the house, I'll start concentrating uh, more on the more on the group again. Um, I'd like to also start scheduling events like I used to, uh, and, and dedicate more time to you guys because it's. I, I admit it's been very very quiet, um, you know, for for good reason. But you know, that time should be over. You know, I'm I'm trying to expand. I'm trying to build, uh, and you're not going to get that if you're if you're quiet. So, uh, that being said, I'm going to go back to my daily posts um, and start pushing, <laughs> start pushing and start grinding and getting more interaction uh, in the group and, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, so, I guess that is it. Uh, <laughs> I don't have, I don't have much else to discuss about the tea itself, so I will post the link in the description as I usually do. Uh, I would highly recommend it if you like black teas, go for it, um, because it's a very, very tasty, uh, unique kind of tea. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it if you drink it. Uh, until next time, have a wonderful week, uh, a great weekend, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.